So if you're coming from Vegas, there is one bit in the last tutorial I left out just because I feel like it deserves a video of its own as it's one of the more important and different aspects if you're coming from Vegas to After Effects. And what is that? So what I didn't cover was how to move your layers around in the timeline and how the move around in the viewport with your footage because it behaves a lot differently than how Vegas does. So one basic thing I already explained was the work area which you can set with the BNN keys. I'll set your playback region and also that can be your render region as we'll see later. If you want to move layers around in the timeline you can just click and drag them. So you can see this, this marks the end of the layer and this marks the beginning. If you wanted to, let's say, trim your video, there's multiple ways you can do that. One way is to take the end of it, just like you would in Vegas, for example, and just cut that. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that it le still leaves like this indication of the layer that's there. So you can see like this was the beginning. So if we drag this back, this is the beginning of the video. But if we drag it to the right, you can see there's nothing on screen. The video now starts right there when we move our playhead over to it. Likewise, it's the same on the other end. And you can also trim this in the same way by using the Alt and left and right bracket keys. So if you press Alt and left bracket, that'll cut it on the left side and Alt and right bracket from the right side. You can also change what section of the video this uses, which I forget what Vegas calls it, but if we press the Y key, we can just drag this and you'll see at the beginning now, this is now the beginning of our video, this part that we cut it up to, but we can drag this to use like just the ending. And you can see like it's a very visual thing, easy to understand because you can see where the beginning of the video is over here and where the end is over here and so on. And you can also split the layer with Control shift d I'll split it in the two parts so you can do whatever manipulations you want to, cut them up, whatever. And that brings me to an important point and probably one of the most important points of After Effects versus Vegas is that you cannot have multiple media items on the same track. So what do I mean by that? So in Vegas, you know that on one track, you can have like multiple videos on it. You can cross fade them, all this good stuff. In After Effects, all that stuff would have to be on its own separate layer. So no matter what I do, like I can't have this part of the video be on the same layer as the one below it. They always have to be separate from each other. And so this is coming from Vegas, one of the more confusing things. I was confused when I started off with After Effects, but over time you'll just get used to it and it'll actually make a lot of sense why it's like this and why if you had multiple clips on the same layer, it would otherwise just get confusing. And of course, there will be a workaround to this later that we'll cover, but just know that for now, you cannot have multiple media items on a single layer. Uh, just a couple more things, if we want to navigate around in the timeline, we can hold Alt and use mouse wheel to scroll in it, zoom in and out. We can also use the middle mouse button to pan around in it. And if you had a lot of layers in here, you can also do this vertically, up and down. Right now we just have two, so obviously we can't scroll up and down. In the viewport, this is the same controls as your timeline essentially, so we can pan around the viewport, like we can even get rid of the video entirely. We can zoom in and out with alt mouse wheel. And if we want to reset the zoom, we can use this drop down over here. I usually use fit up to 100%, which also means if you use any of those fit options, when we maximize this panel, it'll fill up to our full viewing area accordingly. So that's about all for navigating around and doing some really basic manipulations to our footage. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So if you're coming from Vegas, this will make a bit more sense and just stick with it and you'll definitely get the hang of it soon.